this video by saying that I really like Linux. I think it's a great operating system for a number of things. And I used Linux as one of my primary operating systems from what, 2003 when I had first, in, actually I had to, SUSE in 2002. I actually bought it at Best Buy. I got 8.1 Professional with the manuals for 90 bucks. And then I got uh, Gen 2 in 2003. I used that up until about 2011, 2012, around 2013, somewhere around there, I wound up installing Debian because I was sick and tired of uh, Portage being a you know just steaming pile. Uh, sometimes it would work. Sometimes it would say, "You need this. You need that. You need this. You need that." And I gave up when it got to the point where literally installing the base system, there were so many package conflicts that not even like it was an issue with my system. Just installing the base system required spending 10 minutes in IRC and after reading manuals and forms, um, I gave up and went to Debian. Anyway, recently I switched back to Windows about a year and a half ago and a lot of people have wondered why I did that. Well, it was for the video editing and the video recording. So I want to show you what it's like to use Caden Live to try to edit a video here. This is not a, this is not my main machine. It's not crazy powerful. Watch this. I have too many tracks here. So I'm just going to select the track and delete it. And as you can see, after I selected the track and deleted the track that was empty, the program just crashed. I love Linux. I think Linux is an excellent, amazing operating system for a lot of things. When I was using a computer for, you know, just a lot of basic things with my business, when I was using it for um, eBay, um, even just fixing boards and just the email, all the stuff that I do right now, I mean, I use this thing as a file server here. It's a pretty cringeworthy file server, but, yeah, it's a... It's a clusterfuck. It's a real clusterfuck. But anyway, I, I, I've used Linux before, and it's literally, it's worked for me for over 10 years. But when it comes to editing video, um, capturing video, I mean, I, I don't have the time for this. <laughs> like, I mean, Windows sucks, right? Well, you know, the window, everything's crashing Windows every now and then, but, like, I can recreate that over and over again. Like, I could go and do that same thing 50 times, and it will do that same thing 50 times. And I remember just sitting here, working on a video and I hadn't saved it for five minutes and it crashing at just like the right time and I would just decide you know I, I give up I don't even want to work on this anymore and I would just wind up deleting the entire fucking video and that happened a certain amount of times and after that I finally switched back to Windows last year so to answer that question for the people that ask why do I use Windows will I consider Linux I love Linux I think it's a great operating system but and the thing is I'm willing to spend I would spend $2,000 for video editing software in Linux that didn't suck. Because, I, again, I know I can't complain. I'm not allowed to complain because this is free. They're doing to me what I do often do to customers where I'll offer something for free or close to free, but not allow them to complain. I get it. This is free. It's developed by people on their spare time, and God bless the people that take time out of their life to make shit like this. It's cool software, and many things that Caden Live does, it, you know, works. I've used Caden Live in the past. I used it for many of my early videos, and it did a great job. But, again, you get to a point where it's like you fast forward from this part of the video to this part of the video and the fucking thing freezes and that happens enough times and you don't want to deal with it anymore. And I've dealt with that on Gentoo, dealt with it on Debian, dealt with it on Ubuntu, dealt with it on my laptop, dealt with it on an AMD desktop, de dealt with it on an Intel desktop. It's like I've, I've done it on enough systems with enough different configurations to understand that it ain't, the, it ain't me. Because I'm always open to blaming me. I'm not that smart. Um, but, yeah, this, this, this over here, this is why I don't do any of these in Linux. And, I, and I'd like to. I really would like to. And, again, I would pay $2,000 for a single user, single computer license to good video editing software in Linux that doesn't crash, where I can actually call and bitch at somebody if there's a memory leak or some issue. But... It doesn't exist. It's it's either it's like, well, there's this available, but it doesn't do what I want. But it's free. But I don't care. I would pay for it. Like I would pay for it. But nobody is out there developing. And, I, and there's Lightworks, but that's a complete and utter nightmare for what I'm doing. It's 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 complete overkill. There are some things it doesn't do that I want it to do. There are a lot of workflow things with it that are just. It's just not designed for, you know, somebody who's just doing stuff, really basic stuff like me. It would be a complete nightmare. But, yeah, this is, yeah, no Linux for me in the near future for the video stuff. Sorry.